I think the next president of the United States, whoever it is, after his inauguration on January 20, is going to have to go to the United Nations no later than a year from now and address the General Assembly and tell them that these eight years of horror are over, that the United States is returning to its role of supporting a world of law, that the United States is going back to the themes of caring and compassion about those who are miserable and sick and uneducated uh, in the world, that we are turning a complete new chapter. It's going to take time. It may take a whole generation to wipe out the uh, memories of the United States as a superpower to be feared and resented, as some other countries that strayed in the past have found it takes decades to regain the respect for the rest of the world. But if we do that, if we can go back to where the world understands, appreciates, and admires American values, and that will restore the confidence of foreign investors in our country and our own investors in our country and restore the confidence of consumers in this country and we'll have both peace and prosperity. Well, well said.